Welcome back to the Girl Boss Method. I'm your host, Fritu Bra, and for today's topic, for YouTube especially, here's how to get summer sculpted while still enjoying Easter. So here's exactly what you need to do, especially if you want to get summer ready in the next 12 weeks, right? Because just for clarity, this is Easter weekend. Today's Good Friday. It's Easter Sunday. We know the deal. We know what happens. You've got, it's like second Christmas, right? I literally call it second Christmas. So you've got Easter eggs, Easter chocolates, like big family dinners, like People do various different things. And it's actually the longest bank holiday weekend that we get in the UK. Um, it's also timed perfectly with UK payday. So again, it's another reason for people to spend time with loved ones, with friends, um, socializing, going out, doing all various different things. It's literally like the beginning of spring, if you like. We've just had the beginning of spring and right now we've got this weekend and the clocks they will also spring forward so we lose an hour of sleep on sunday and there's various different things with the timing as well okay with this because it also signifies that this is like the last kind of big indulgement indulgement really before we kind of head in to summer so summer being obviously like mid-june uh late june that sort of time or even like july for some of you as well all really depends on the weather here right so the best thing that you can get doing before summer is actually get ahead okay so even if that means implementing some of what we talk about today here on this youtube you're going to learn some habits we're going to sort of work on some rituals and we're going to get you set up, not just for summer, but like for the rest of this year. Yeah. So my method, my program is called the Girl Boss Method, and it is especially for you career driven women. So I'm going to help you get the body that you deserve for summer. Um, and this, again, especially if you've been training or you've even like, maybe you've even lost your way a little bit, or you've been doing all the right things, but you've just seemed, you just seem to have plateaued basically, because it does happen. We all had January, we had that kickstart, we had that motivation, we had that mindset to really go in on those goals. And this weekend is another one of those really, really tough weekends. Um, what you don't need to be doing right now is thinking about you know, going absolutely wild and then having heading into a, a ridiculous heavy restriction come Monday. We want to think about navigating this weekend exactly how we would have navigated Christmas, if you like. So again, we're not thinking about having to massively track calories or anything like that because nobody wants to do that for Easter. I'm actually on my own um, summer sculpt, if you like. I've got a photo shoot coming up in the next four weeks. So again, similarly for me, um, this weekend, again, enjoy the chocolate, enjoy the festivities, enjoy the, the meals that you're going to be have, having, the, the time that you're going to enjoy with your family, right, and your friends. But just don't think about it being like the mindset of, you know, the temptation to like overindulge and then that heading into Monday and just derailing your progress. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips here. So one of the first things you wanna do is actually have a plan in place. So the same thing that I teach my ladies, especially when it comes to like tracking for the week, for example, they like pre-plan their meals, uh, they know what they're going to be up to. They've they've got things like this, the social events and stuff. They're in the calendar. So know what you're going to be doing and plan ahead in time. Um, and just be mindful as well. So you want to be mindful about like your portion sizes. You want to enjoy everything in moderation. So again, we're not thinking about overindulgent and indulgence and then just like 
Monday comes and then all of a sudden that restriction sets in. Enjoy the weekend. Don't restrict, but again, just be mindful. You want to really also focus on, you know, enjoying or even savoring each bite and really take uh, pay attention to like your hunger cues as well. As again, this can be um, difficult when you kind of think the floodgates are open and it's just all a like a free for all, right? That oh, the diet starts Monday and that's it. So. Again, some of the things that you can do is to try and stay active during this period. It's the same thing that we would have done like over Christmas. And the weather, hopefully it's going to be brighter. We're in the middle of spring. I know that here in the UK, we get shit ton of rain. That's not fun. But just take the opportunity to just get out and be active. So if that means like going on a bike ride over the weekend or like even meeting up with friends, going for a coffee, taking the coffee to go, going, catching up, getting out for a walk, getting some fresh air, getting some steps in, getting some activity in, helping, you know, all those body systems as well, getting that cardiovascular system working and helping also with, um, yeah, we're just feeling good and, and keeping active because what the last thing that we want to do is to stay seated, to sit down and to literally do nothing and if you do want to enjoy yourself and yes, you may overindulge just slightly and think, do you know what? I'm not going to crack, but I'm going to enjoy this moment. Again, staying active is going to help you. You want to focus on things like hydration as well. Um, so quite often, especially when we're hungry, uh, it could actually be that we're thirsty. So just always think about staying hydrated. You want to make sure that you're getting your like two to three liters of uh, water in or fluid each day. And another thing that I wanted to mention, especially with the clocks springing forward um, on Sunday, on Easter Sunday as well, you might end up getting less sleep. So get yourself to bed the night before a little bit earlier if you can um make sure that you rest over the weekend where possible because the lack of sleep or even just like reduced sleep and that change in your circadian rhythm as well because that's going to be effective can have an effect on like your hunger so if you are feeling more tired and you don't feel rested because maybe you went out and got shit faced on Friday or Saturday night. Um, that's gonna not help. That's not gonna help with your hunger as well. And then you've got the lack of sleep coming in. You're not gonna rest, feel rested and all of those things. And then you've got the temptation here as well of again, overindulging. So just be mindful again, incorporate movement, get out for like walks, hikes, maybe even create some outdoor activities. Um, another thing that you can do if you have children is actually just get outside when you're doing your like kids, like Easter themed, I don't know, your Easter, Easter egg hunt, get out with them, get moving, get outside. And yeah, when we're thinking about the nutrition specifically, like balance those sort of indulging those indulgent treats and sort of the the ability or even the opportunity to, to to have some more nutrient dense meals like prioritize your protein first and your veggies that's going to help you feel full and satisfied and one of one of the ways again you get your plate out and you're going to pop your protein down first then your veggies and then like your carbs and whatever right but just make sure that you are accounting for that. And especially if you are vegan or vegetarian, make sure that there is an option for you. So what I have or what we have in my family for the vegans like myself is we have a Satan log. And this Satan log is massive, right? It's really big. It's about a kilo. Um, and I think there's probably going to be about maybe three or four of us that are actually going to enjoy that. Per 100 grams, I think there's about 27 grams of protein. So that's definitely going on my plate first. I'm definitely going to enjoy some like roast vegetables, 
some roast potatoes as well. And look, if you are trying to be mindful because you are on that sort of shred or sculpt or, or fat loss, weight loss, toning, if you're on that journey and you just want to make sure that you're not creating a huge blip in your progress, like enjoy your treats, have your Easter eggs, like share them as well. Um, if you are gifted a lot, share them, give them away as well. Donate Easter eggs. There are many families that can't afford to spend or, or buy these really expensive eggs. So that's another tip as well. And by sharing them, you get to kind of enjoy a little bit of each, which is quite fun as well. And yeah, even when it comes to like cooking your food, if you want to be really mindful, just like opting for like a, a low calorie um, spray, for example, or just being mindful uh, over how how many, let's say, for example, you do use like olive oil to, to cook your food in, you know, how much you're going to have, be mindful on the amount of uh, fats that you allow to cook your food in. And look, enjoy Easter. It's like any other holiday. It's another opportunity to spend time with your family, with your friends, you don't want to have that mindset of, hey, guys, I'm on a diet and, you know, I can't have X. Like, enjoy it. Have it because you want to. Um, again, don't like completely sabotage by going, I've got to have everything and like mindset. So it's just really trying to create balance, just having balance with that. So look, just to kind of finish off here. Um, if you found this video helpful, please leave a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram where you can reach out and send me a DM. And uh, you can find me on Instagram at Richie Bra. You can also join the Girl Boss Method program. Again, right now we are getting ready to start our summer sculpt. Uh, the summer sculpt is going to be a 12 week program. And I'm just really excited to get started on it because. We're going to be doing lots of fun, um, you know, fun, fun challenges within that. There's going to be workouts. There's going to be habit building. We're going to have the community. You're going to have all the ladies in and involved. And it's just going to be such a good way, because especially if you've been on this journey on your own, there is nothing like having like minded individuals on that journey with you. So. If this is for you and you definitely want to know more about the Summer Sculpt, send me a DM on Instagram at Richie Bra. And yeah, I'll see you here next time.